In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make this carrot-shaped scrubby. We're going to use the Scrubby Sparkle Yarn to create the scrubby today. We're going to use orange and green for the stem. I'm going to use a size H or 8 5 millimeter crochet hook to create the scrubby today. You may want a stitch marker to keep track of the rounds as we create it. And you may even want a row counter if you need one. Okay, so let's go ahead and start off with the orange colored yarn. And we want to begin with a magic ring. So let's go ahead and make our magic ring to begin. Okay, so now that we have our magic ring, we are ready to begin round one. So for round one, we're going to start off by chaining one. And then we're going to do six single crochets into the center of the magic ring. So one, two, three, four, five, and just one more for a total of six single crochets. Okay, so now I'm going to close up the magic ring just a little bit. And we're going to join with a slip stitch to the very first single crochet that we did when we began the round. There it is. Okay, so do a slip stitch. And that completes round one. So for round two, we're going to chain one. And then you're going to do one single crochet into the first one and then two single crochets into the next. So we're going to alternate one, then two, and one, then two. So we're going to do that all the way around. So that was two, so one into the next one, one single crochet into that. So this next stitch, we're going to do two single crochets. Next stitch, one single crochet. And the next stitch, do two single crochets. I'm going to go ahead and count my stitches here now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Perfect. We should have nine single crochets when we're done with sec the second round. So I'm going to join that with a slip stitch. Okay, so that is round two. So we are now ready to begin round three. So we're going to do one half double crochet into every single stitch. So let's do one half, chain one first, and then do a half double crochet into that first stitch. Now, we are going to be working in the round, and we're not going to do a chain one anymore to begin each round. So you want to use a stitch marker so we know where we began our round. So I'm going to go ahead and put my stitch marker in. Okay. Now, we're going to do a half double crochet into every single stitch. So the next one, do one half double crochet. And one half double crochet into the next one. So that same thing, one half double crochet in every single stitch until we get to the stitch marker. Okay, so we just keep going around. Okay, so we have one more stitch before the stitch marker, so I'm going to put one half double crochet into this stitch. Okay, so you see that the work is starting to curl up like a little bowl? That's perfectly normal, so what you're going to do is you're just going to turn that inside out now. Okay, so now it's inside out, and then remember we have a magic ring, so we have that tail. So go ahead and insert your hook and pull that magic tail out of onto the outside. That way, when we're done, we can pull on that to get it the magic circle to close up as small as possible. Because if we leave it inside, we won't be able to pull on it afterwards. Okay, so we're ready to begin this next round. So I'm going to take my stitch marker out. And for round four, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to work one half double crochet into every single stitch around. So do a half double crochet into this stitch. I am putting my stitch marker back in so I know where I begin. Okay. So now this round four is just like the one we just did one half double crochet into every single stitch. Ok, 
Okay, so we're going to do one half double crochet until we get to the stitch marker. Okay, so we're here at the stitch marker. So that was, that's the end of round four. So we are now ready to begin round five. So for round five, we're gonna do this stitch, this round a little bit different than this one. So I'm gonna take my stitch marker out for a moment. This first stitch, you're gonna do a one, one half double crochet. I'm gonna put my stitch marker back in. Oops, try to get away from me, I got it. Okay, I'm gonna put my stitch marker back into that stitch there. So that way I know where I began my round. Okay, so that was one half double crochet into the first stitch. And then two half double crochets into the next one. And then in the next stitch, one half double crochet. And then two into the next one. So you can see there's a pattern here. We're alternating one, then two, one, then two. And we're going to do that all the way around until we get to that stitch marker again. That one was one, so I'm going to put two into this one. And the next stitch has one. And two. Oh! My stitch marker just got away. Okay, hold on just a moment. I have to get another one. I'm going to pause. Okay, so I am back with another stitch marker. This time it's green. So let me find that beginning one that I did. And I can tell where it's a little bit raised up because we're not doing the chain one. See that? So I know this was the right one. Okay. Put that stitch marker in. Hopefully this time it doesn't pop out on me. Okay. So now, let me just see. We did two half double crochets into that one. So the next one, we're going to do one half double crochet. Boy, those stitch markers don't want to stay in, do they? Let me try to find out where that goes again. There it is. Okay. There. Now maybe I'll say and I just kind of crossed it over the other part there so we'll say. Okay. So now that was one half double crochet there. So into the next one we're going to do two half double crochets. And then into this stitch we'll do one. Okay, so now we're where the stitch marker is. So we are ready to begin the next round. So that completed round five. So for round six, we're going to do one half double crochet in each stitch around. So let me take the stitch marker out. And then do one half double crochet. And this is the beginning of round six. Okay, so one half double crochet to begin round six. I'm going to put my stitch marker back in. Okay. Now if you don't have a stitch marker, you can also use a piece of yarn a different color as well. I actually prefer the stitch markers that look like a little plastic safety pin. They stay on better. Um, I couldn't find those right now. So as you can see, these ones are okay, but they seem to pop out too often. <laughs> All right. So now we're going to do one half double crochet into the next stitch. And for round, this is round six. So we're just going to do one half double crochet into every single stitch until we get to our stitch marker. Okay, so we're almost there to the stitch marker, and we're just doing one half double crochet into every single stitch. Okay. 
Okay, so we're here again at the stitch marker, so this is the end of that round. That was round six. Okay, so for round seven, we're going to repeat what we just did in round six. So round seven will also be one half double crochet into every single stitch around. I'm going to go ahead and take the stitch marker out. Okay, do a half double crochet into that stitch. I'm going to put my stitch marker back in. Okay, there we go. Okay, round seven. One half double crochet in every single stitch until we get to the stitch marker. So just one half double crochet in every single stitch for this round. Which is the same thing we did in round six. So this is just a repeat of round six. Okay, so we're almost to the stitch marker. We're just doing one half double crochet every single stitch until we get to that stitch marker. Okay, so there we have that is round seven now completed. Now we're going to do round eight. Round eight is a repeat of round six and seven. So just one half double crochet in every single stitch. So let me go ahead and take my stitch marker out. And to begin, one half double crochet in that stitch. And then I'm going to put my stitch marker back in because we definitely want to keep track of our rounds here. Okay, there's the stitch markers in now. Hopefully it's, it won't pop back out on me here. Okay, so one half double crochet in every stitch for round eight. And we're going to do the one half double crochet in every stitch until we get to the end of the round, which is just before that stitch marker. Okay, so this completes round eight. So for round nine, we're going to do something a little bit differently. So we're going to go ahead and take our stitch marker out. Okay, so here to begin round nine. Let's do two half double crochets into the first stitch, which is the next stitch. This is the first stitch of this round. Okay, so now in the next one, one half double crochet. Now I'm going to put my stitch marker in here. That's the first one we just did. Okay, so we did two half double crochets into the first stitch and one half double crochet into the next. So the next stitch we're going to do two half double crochets. The next stitch, one half double crochet. So we're going to just basically alternate one stitch, then two, one stitch, then two, all the way around until we get to the stitch marker. So this one had one, so we're going to do two half double crochets into this one. And then one into the next. And two. Next one will have one. And two. And one. So these are all half double crochet still. So two into this one. And then one half double crochet into the next one. Okay, so this one just got tangled in my stitch marker. Let me fix that. There we go. Okay, 
Okay, one into the next one. Two half double crochets into the next stitch. And then one. And the stitch just before, we're going to do two. Okay, so that completes round nine. So for round ten, we're going to do one half double crochet in every single stitch. Okay, so to begin round ten, one half double crochet into the first one. I'm going to put my stitch marker back in. Oh, maybe it doesn't want to go in. Maybe it will go in. Okay, so let me try again. Okay, so these are not my favorite stitch markers, as you can probably tell. <laughs> there we go. Now it's there. Okay, so now let me make sure that's not going to pop out again. All right, so definitely next project I'm going to have to find my other stitch markers or use a piece of yarn. Okay, so that was one half double crochet. And then we're going to do one half double crochet into every single stitch until we get to the stitch marker. So just one half double crochet in every single stitch. And this is round 10. So you can see it looks just like a little cone. So if you were making an ice cream cone shaped scrubby, which I'll show you in a future tutorial, you would just basically start off the same way we're doing the carrot. Okay, so we just keep working all the way around. One half double crochet in each stitch. Okay, there's one more stitch there before the stitch marker. Okay, so that completes round 10. So you can see um, we made it wider and then we did one row of one, one double, I'm sorry, one half double crochets for this round. And as you can see now, it's going to curve in. So we're going to start decreasing from this point. Okay, so the next round, we're going to start decreasing. So for round 11, we're going to do something different. Okay, so let's take the stitch marker out. Okay, so for round 11, the first stitch, do one half double crochet. I'm going to put the stitch marker back in. Okay, if it will cooperate with me here. <laughs> okay, let me try that again, because I was trying to go into the stitch before it. There we go. Okay, so that was just one half double crochet into that first stitch of round 11. Okay, so for now since we're decreasing in this round, we are going to work over the next two stitches to decrease. So do a yarn over, insert it into the next stitch, pull up a loop. You'll have three loops on your hook. Yarn over. Inst instead of working the stitch, you're going to put it in insert the hook right back into the sti next stitch next to it. Yarn over and pull up a loop. And then see that you have five loops there? Yarn over and pull it through all five loops. And that's your half double decrease stitch. That's where we work two half double crochets together. So that way in the next round there's only one stitch instead of the two in this row. Okay, so now what you want to do is you're going to do one half double crochet in the next stitch. And then we're going to work the decrease over the next two again. Yarn over, insert it into the stitch, pull up a loop, you'll have three loops on your hook. Yarn over, insert it into the next stitch, pull up a loop, you will have five loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull it through all five. And that is working the two half double crochets together. And then do one half double crochet into the next stitch. So you see we're alternating, we're doing one half double crochet and then a decrease, one half double crochet and a decrease. Okay, so we just did one half double crochet into that one, so we're going to work a decrease now. 
So we're going to work over the next two stitches to, to stitch them together to make one. Okay, so yarn over, insert into the stitch, pull up a loop, you'll have three loops, yarn over, insert it into the next stitch, pull up a loop, and you will have five loops, yarn over and pull through all five loops to decrease. And then the next stitch, just do one half double crochet, and then the next one, we're going to decrease again over the next two stitches. Yarn over, insert it into the next stitch there, pull up a loop, you will have three loops on your hook, do a yarn over, insert it into the next stitch next to that one, pull up a loop, and there you have your five loops. Yarn over and pull through all five loops. Okay, so the next stitch you'll do one half double crochet, and then we're going to decrease over the next two. Yarn over, insert it into the next stitch, pull up a loop, you'll have your three loops on the hook, yarn over, insert it into the next stitch, pull up a loop, and there you have your five loops. Yarn over and pull through all five. And that, we just worked two half double crochets together. All right, so the next stitch, do one half double crochet. And then we're gonna do a decrease over the next two. So yarn over, insert into the stitch, pull up a loop. You'll have your three loops. Yarn over, and instead of pulling it through, you're gonna insert it into the next stitch next to it. Pull up a loop, you'll have your five loops. Yarn over and pull through all five. Okay, so we just work two stitches together, and you can see where it's starting to curve in now. Right, like this one. That's what we want. So the next stitch, we're going to do one half double crochet, and then work two stitches together. Yarn over, insert into the stitch, pull up a loop. Yarn over, insert into the next stitch, pull up a loop. There's your five loops. Do a yarn over and pull through all five. Okay, so you can see where it's starting to curve in now, just like here. So we're here at the stitch marker again. So we're ready to begin round 12. And for round 12, we're doing the same thing we just did. We're going to decrease. So in the next stitch, do one half double crochet. Let me put my stitch marker back in. Okay, so now we're going to decrease over the next two stitches the same way. There are half double crochet decreases. Yarn over, insert into the next stitch. Yarn over, pull up a loop. You'll have three loops. Yarn over, insert it into the next stitch next to it. Yarn over and you'll have your five loops and then yarn over and pull through all five loops to work those two stitches together. Okay, then one half double crochet into the next stitch. And then we're going to work two stitches together here again. Yarn over, insert into the next stitch. Pull up a loop. There's your three loops. Yarn over, insert into the next stitch. Yarn over, I mean pull up a loop. You'll have your five loops, yarn over and pull through all five, and that worked two stitches together there. And then the next stitch you'll do one half double crochet. Okay, and then we're going to decrease over the next two. So you can see that it's starting to get smaller and smaller, the hole's starting to close up. Okay, so that was just one half double crochet in that one, so we're going to decrease over the next one again. We have our five loops there. There's five loops. Yarn over, pull through all five. So we just worked our two stitches together there. Let's do one half double crochet into the next stitch. And we're going to do the same pattern all the way around until we get to the stitch marker. So we're decreasing over the next two. Yarn over, insert into the next stitch. Pull up a loop. Yarn over, insert into the next stitch. Pull up a loop. There's your five loops. Yarn over and pull through all five. All right, we just worked those two stitches together. And then do one half double crochet into the next stitch. Okay, let me take my stitch marker out. Okay, we're going to work two stitches together here. Our five. Okay, I'm going to put my stitch marker in. Okay, 
Okay, so that was round 12, so round 13. Same thing. Next stitch, half double crochet. Decrease over the next two. And then half double crochet. Decrease over the next two stitches. Half double crochet. Okay, and then I'm going to take my stitch marker out. We probably don't need the stitch marker any longer. So that was one half double crochet. And then decrease over the next two stitches. And then really, as you can see, we're at that point now where we're starting to close up. So we're just going to decrease the rest of them now. And I'm just going to do decrease these two stitches. And then it's decrease over the next two. Oops. Decrease over these two here. Okay, wait a minute. I can't see my stitches really good. Okay, so let me go back. So we just did a decrease over those two, so now I'm going to do a decrease over these two here. It'll be a little tricky to see the stitches. Okay, there it is. And since there's this one stitch in there, I'm just going to put it through the next stitch and that one right there just to close it up. Alright, so there we have, you can see the carrot shape there now. So now what we need to do is switch over to our green yarn. So I'm going to cut off a tail here. Let's go ahead and attach our green yarn. Okay, there's two ways you can do it. You can either just tie it on or fasten that off and do a slip stitch, but I'm just going to go ahead and tie it on. Okay, I'm just going to do a couple of knots there. Do one more. Okay. So now that I have my green yarn attached, we'll weave in these parts afterwards. Okay, so to begin the stems, what you're going to do is you're going to chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then do a slip stitch into the top there. Any stitch that will fit right in the top there. Okay, and then do chain eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then do a slip stitch right into there. Okay, and then chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then do a slip stitch again. Okay, and then we're going to chain eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then do a little slip stitch there. Okay, and then chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Do a slip stitch again. Oh, it wants to slip out there. I guess that's why they call it a slip stitch, right? 
Okay, there we go. All right, now chain eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then do a little slip stitch. So we're kind of just working around and doing a slip stitch. Okay, so there's our curly little stem there, just like that one. So I'm going to go ahead and cut the tail here, and that way we can fasten off. Okay, so to fasten off, just yarn over and pull it all the way through the loop. Give it a little tug. And then, there you have the top for your little carrot. And then we can just pull the little tail on the magic circle to pull that tight and close up that hole as small as we can. And then you just kind of stretch it a little bit and you can see how cute that is. And then we'll weave in our tails to finish off. So that's that magic circle there. I'm going to weave that in. There we go. And I'm just going to weave that in a few stitches here and there. All right. And then cut that one. Okay, let me weave in my other loose tails here. Okay, so that one, I can cut the tail there. Okay, now I'm going to weave in the green tails. I think these are just adorable. It's not a very big scrubby, but it's real. It's just perfect for getting in those corners because of the point there. So that will be useful for that. But if nothing else, it's quite cute. So it will look adorable. Okay, and then I'm going to just weave in the green a little bit. Then you can just sew it through the bottom there, you know, not through both sides, and then you know, cut that there, and then just pull it so that it's, you won't see that sticking out anymore. There we go. And now, I'm going to weave in this one. I really like this um, Scrubby Sparkle yarn because it really absorbs the soap very well and gets nice and sudsy when you're cleaning your dishes. I think this is just adorable. Oops. Go ahead and thread that again. Okay, that way we cut that. Okay, so I hope that you enjoyed the tutorial today where I show you how to make the carrot shaped scrubby. If you did like the tutorial today, please give me a thumbs up. I hope that you will subscribe to my channel. So thank you for watching today, and until the next tutorial, happy crocheting!